be injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a... Don't try anything. Got something to sell? Well, how do you feel? Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh! How can you be walking around like this? Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here. Take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I needed to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Come back soon. <laughs>